In my previous projects, I have programmed I2C Temperature and Humidity Sensor AM2320 using C language and libraries. In this video, AM2320 is programmed using assembly to display temperature measurement on microcontroller output port. The main specs of the AM2320 sensor Supply voltage minimum 3.1 volt, maximum 5.5 volt The temperature range is between minus 40 Celsius to 80 Celsius with a tolerance of plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius Humidity range is from 0 to 99% with a tolerance of plus or minus 3% It is interfaced with a microcontroller using I squared C and it has a write address of uh, hexadecimal B8 and a read address of hexadecimal B9 and it can run at a maximum clock speed of 100 kilohertz AM2320 sensor represents temperature and humidity as 16-bit numbers so temperature is represented by two bytes the low byte and the high byte the absolute value of temperature is represented by the first 15-bit value while the sign is represented by the most significant bit if the sign bit is 0 then the temperature is positive if the sign bit is 1 the temperature is negative the 15-bit value of temperature is 10 times the actual value as an example, let's say we have a 16-bit temperature reading given by this 16-bit hexy value. When we decompose this number, we see that the sine bit is 1, meaning that the temperature is in minus. And the 15-bit value is given by this hexy number. And we translate it into decimal, so we have minus 135. And we know that this is 10 times the actual value, so we need to divide this by 10 and we get the actual temperature which is minus 13.5 Celsius the humidity value is represented by a 16-bit number we have the low byte and we have the high byte as an example let's say we have this 16-bit uh, humidity reading which is given by this 16-bit uh, hexy value we translate this into decimal we have 748 again this value is 10 times the actual value so we need to divide this by 10 and we get the actual humidity 74.8 percent to get temperature and humidity from the sensor we need to have access to the AM2320 data register and within its uh, memory we have the uh, high humidity stored at location 0 low humidity location 1 the high byte of the temperature is at location 2 and the low byte is at location 4. In addition to humidity and temperature, the data register also stores information such as the model of the AM2320. So here at this location we have the high byte of the model and here we have the low byte of the model and also at this location we have the version number of the device and the device ID is stored at this location. While these locations are reserved for the user to store some additional information regarding the sensor. In order to access the data register, we need to send to the sensor a function code. So this function code will enable us to read from the data register. While this function code will enable us to write into the data register. In this video, we'll be only doing uh, read data register to read the humidity and uh, temperature information this is a flowchart for programming AM2320 using I squared C protocol the sensor is initially in sleep mode in order to conserve power and also to alleviate noise from sensor measurements so we need to wake up the sensor so the first thing we need to do the microcontroller will write the wake sensor command and then the microcontroller will write the function code and in our case we want to read data from the data register after a delay of 2 milliseconds 
The microcontroller will then read the sensor data which is sent by the AM2320 over the I2C bus. And then the microcontroller will display the sensor data and then apply a delay of two seconds and go back and wake up the sensor again for another measurement. This is the I2C timing diagram to wake up the sensor. The microcontroller will send the start pulse and then we'll send the write address which is hexadecimal B8 and then we'll send the stop pulse. As mentioned earlier the sensor is in low power mode and needs to be woken before each measurement. This is the timing diagram to enable the read from the data register. So microcontroller begins by sending the start pulse and then we'll send the write address the sensor will reply with acknowledgement. Then the microcontroller will send the function code and in this case read register which has a hexy value of 3. And the sensor will reply with acknowledgement. Then the microcontroller will send the start address of the data register which is 0. The sensor will reply with acknowledgement. Then the microcontroller sends the number of registers to read from and we will read from the first four registers which contain the 16-bit values of humidity and temperature. The sensor replies with acknowledgement and the transmission is ended by the stop pulse. And finally we need to read the measurements from the sensor. The microcontroller begins with the start pulse then it will send the read address to the sensor which is uh, hexadecimal B9 the sensor acknowledges and then the sensor sends the uh, function code which is should be hexadecimal 3 and the microcontroller will respond with an acknowledgement and then the sensor sends the number of registers to read from which should be 4 and the microcontroller acknowledges and then the sensor sends first the high byte of the humidity microcontroller acknowledges and then sends the low byte microcontroller acknowledges and then the sensor sends the high byte temperature microcontroller acknowledges and then the low byte the microcontroller acknowledges and then the sensor sends the low byte of CRC and the microcontroller acknowledges and then sends the high byte of CRC and here the microcontroller sends a no acknowledgement. CRC is cyclic redundancy check which is a 16-bit code sent by the sensor to the microcontroller and the microcontroller can use this code to verify that the received data is correct. CRC is not covered in this video so as not to overcomplicate the assembly coding. To learn more about CRC refer to the datasheet of the sensor. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. The AM2320 sensor is interfaced with port C of the microcontroller through the I2C lines. And we also have two LEDs connected to two pins of port C. We have the blue LED to represent the negative temperature and we have the red LED to represent the positive temperature. We also have the 15-bit value of the temperature is displayed on LEDs connected to port D and B of the microcontroller. In the assembly code, we first initialize the ports and then we write the wake sensor command. We start by sending the start pulse and then we send the write address of the AM2320 sensor and then we send the stop pulse. Next we write the function code. We begin with the start pulse, then we send the write address of the sensor and then we send the function code read data register which is uh, hexadecimal 03 
and then we send the start address of the data register which is uh, hexadecimal zero and then we send the number of registers to read from four registers and then we end the transmission with the stop condition after a delay of two milliseconds we read the sensor data we begin with the start condition and then we send the read address of the sensor and then we read the byte sent by the sensor which is the function code hexadecimal 03 and then we read the number of registers sent by the sensor which is 4 and then we read the high byte humidity and then read the low byte humidity and then we read the uh, high byte temperature and save it in register R28 then read the low byte temperature and store it in R29 and then we read the low byte uh, CRC and then the high byte CRC and then we end the retransmission with the stop condition. Note here that all of the reads performed by the microcontroller is accompanied with the acknowledgement signal from the microcontroller except for the last read there is no acknowledgement. In subroutine I squared read we are enabling the acknowledgement but in subroutine I squared C read no acknowledgement there is no acknowledgement pulse sent by the microcontroller. Finally we want to display the 15-bit temperature value on the output ports with the sign whether it's positive or negative first we display the low byte temperature on port D then we display the high byte on port B next we extract the most significant bit in uh, the high byte temperature and then check its value whether it is uh, 0 or 1 if it is 1 it means we have a negative uh, temperature so we jump to label negative temperature and we turn on the blue LED and we turn off the red LED otherwise if the value of the most significant bit is zero then we have a positive temperature so this instruction will be ignored and we turn on the red LED and we turn off the blue LED and then we wait for two seconds and go back and get another sensor reading we can modify the assembly code to display temperature and humidity on MAX7219 display by combining the code from this project and the code from my previous MAX7219 projects. Thank you for watching.